What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today I am on the glades with my buddy Fab's Money. So what's up? Today we are going to do a catch and cook. Today we're after pickerel. A lot of you guys have told me to try pickerel in the past and I've actually caught a ton of them out here but I haven't kept any and I haven't tried it. So today is the day. I looked up regulations. I believe it's 50 yeah 50 per person so today we're out here hopefully we're gonna get a pickerel and we're gonna try it for the first time and i'm gonna tell you what i think i'm pretty excited i'm pretty hungry so let's get today started all right so what we're using we're using like a fast lure think about pickerels they love fast moving stuff like the crankbait that's what i have on what oh fabrizio is on hopefully it's with a pickerel what is it a bass. bass oh my gosh not on the menu today. Rizzo with the first catch of the day. Oh, he swallowed that thing. Oh, God. Hooked in the gills? Oh, no. All right, well, we're going to try and save this guy. Take it out. Take the hook out. Let's try and uh, get him back in the water there. You got him good? Yeah. He choked it. He's bleeding. Not on the boat. All right, well... I don't know, maybe we could do a bass catch and cook? <laughs> I don't know you guys, this bass may not make it, but I came out here for pickerel. We may have to switch it up to a bass catch and cook. This kind of stuff, you know, happens, but first catch, see if you can revive them maybe. Let's see what happens. I don't know, dude. Nothing? Let him, like, is he kicking? No. Let him go for a second? I don't want to let him go, I think. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're gonna do a catch and cook largemouth bass then. <laughs> uh, we accidentally hooked a fish on the gills. It happens a lot, but we don't wanna just throw this guy in the water. So I guess we're gonna keep this guy for a catch and cook largemouth bass. Yeah, like, like I'm letting him go, like I'm holding on. He's not really swimming. Light. Look, he's floating. All right, well, I guess throw him in the, throw him in the box, in the, in the cooler. Sorry, little guy. Sorry, bud. And we're gonna keep trying for pickerel, but largemouth bass might be on the menu today. We're gonna keep trying for pickerel for a little bit longer and see what happens. All right, guys, we have been fishing for a while trying to get a pickerel and I have no luck. I swear these things are always around when you don't want them, but when you do, they're never to be found. So we're gonna take advantage of the bass that Fabrizio murdered. No, I'm kidding, we accidentally gill hooked a bass and we didn't just want to throw it back in the water dead so we're going to take it home and we're going to eat it a lot of you guys asked for bass and today is the day i wasn't expecting it but we're doing it and i have a cutting board that i brought and a fillet knife thinking that i was going to catch pickerel and do it but we're going to cut and fillet the bass right here on the boat and then we're going to head back to the house try it and i'll let you guys know what i think all right guys we're here we got the bass on the fillet table we're gonna go ahead and cut this guy skin him up get him ready for tonight we're actually still on the water but we want to get this done uh so we're gonna start the process now <music> So here they are, here are the bass fillets. They look beautiful, I, I mean, they're super white. We got a lot of meat out of that guy, so the next step is we're gonna go home, we're gonna bread these up, throw them on the pan, and try them for the first time. I'm kind of excited about it. It looks really good, it actually resembles the meat color of snakehead, and snakehead is incredible. So let's head home and try this. All right, you guys, so we are back at the cribbo. We got the bass right here, straight chilling. It looks really, really good. And we're gonna go ahead and throw it in some egg, and then we're gonna throw it in some breadcrumbs, and we're going to toss it in this hot ass pan with some hot ass oil, and we're gonna go ahead and eat. I'm really excited about this. Um, I forgot to mention, I've heard good and bad things about largemouth bass. A lot of people say it's very good, and it's actually really common to eat, and a lot of people say it is not good. I don't, I, visually, I cannot see why this wouldn't be good, 
but you can't judge a book by its cover. It might look good, but it might taste bad. So let's go ahead and start the process and get this fish ready for the paint. Egg in the bowl. Mix, mix, mix. All right, we're gonna take our bass pieces and we're gonna let them just chill in the egg. Just hang out there. Oh, this bowl is too small, but it'll have to do. We wanna get our bass fully covered in egg, so when it goes into the breadcrumbs, the breadcrumbs have something to stick to. So we're gonna let those hang out and we're gonna prepare our breadcrumbs in the bag. We're gonna take our fish out of the egg. You know what, we're gonna do both at the same time and put them right into the bag. Zip that bad boy up and start shaking. These are done. Check these out. They got fully breaded bass pieces. Let's take a look at them. Wow, they look really, really good. Good coverage on these bad boys. Look at that. Perfect. Look at how these came out, you guys. Perfectly breaded, ready to go. Very simple. Not crazy amount of seasoning or breading or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get our hot ass pan and our hot ass oil ready. You guys are really enjoying these hot ass products. We actually sold out. All of our merch is gone, but we're creating more merch. We got sharp ass knife merch coming soon, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, link in the description below. Make sure you check it out, 10% off um, for all of my subscribers. We got our oil in the pan. We got our stove on high. We're gonna let this heat up. Not too crazy because, you know, we don't want to burn the fish. All right, our oil is super hot. I don't know if you can hear a bubble in there. We're going to take our fish pieces. And we're going to set them down nice and smooth. Hopefully this thing doesn't burn. So we're going to let these cook, I'd say, two minutes, two and a half minutes aside. And we should have some pretty golden brown largemouth bass ready to try. Here we go. Alright, so these things are ready. They've been on for no longer than five minutes. We don't want to burn them. So we're going to take them off. They look golden brown. I didn't want to get roasted in the comments by you guys, so I tried my best not to burn them, and I think we succeeded. They don't look burnt at all. They look actually golden brown, crispy, flaky. I saw a little bit of meat there. It looks cooked, so there's nothing left else to do but to get to the table and try this fish. I cannot wait. I've been holding this off for a long time, and today the right circumstances have gone down, so let's do it. All right, you guys, we are back at the table yet again for another episode of Catch and Cook. This time we did largemouth bass. Now, I pretty much said this throughout the whole video, but I'm gonna say it again. I was supposed to do pickerel catch and cook, and as we were out there trying to catch a pickerel, uh, they weren't biting, and we actually gill hooked a largemouth bass, and it died, unfortunately, and I took it home and decided that I'm gonna not waste it and I'm gonna try largemouth bass today. It just so happened to be that way, so that's what I did. Now, a lot of you guys are probably, or maybe not a lot of you guys, but some of you guys are probably gonna roast me in the comments saying, why did you do bass, why did you do bass? The bass died, it got gill hooked. A lot of you are most avid fishermen that watch these videos, know that you guys gill hook bass all the time, and unfortunately, they die. If you say no, you're lying. So we did this today. I'm gonna go ahead and break in front of the camera, show you the meat, show you what it looks like inside, give you a little feel of the texture and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna try it for myself and give you my opinion on it and what it tastes like. So let's go ahead and bust open a piece here. As you can see, here is the bass. So let's just go ahead and crack it open. Wow. Look at that. Meaty, flaky, white, not veiny, not bony. Bass meat is really, really good. Look at that. I mean, that is just pure. This reminds me, this is probably the closest I've gotten to snakehead meat than any other freshwater fish that I've eaten. This meat is so pure white. I am super excited to try it. it smells great, there's not a really fishy odor to it. 
very, very mild smell. It does smell like fish, but it's nothing crazy that you may get like disgusted by. But we're gonna go ahead and try this fish. I'm pretty excited to have another piece here. I'm just gonna rip off the end right there. And this is going to be the piece I try. Largemouth bass catch and cook on accident. In three, two, one. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that, it's just so juicy, so tender. It's literally melt in your mouth, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Everything that you want from a freshwater fish, wow. It's soft, the texture is there, the taste is there, the smell is there, everything, everything is there. I'm glad that this fish didn't go to waste today. Can't stop eating it, so good. Largemouth bass gets two thumbs up from me. 10 out of 10 rating. This is the perfect fish. I don't think I've ever rated anything like that high than snakehead, but bass and snakehead are on the same playing field when it comes to taste. It tastes so good. If you guys unfortunately have a fish that dies on you when you catch it, try bass. Try it, take it home, fillet it up, and give it a try. It is really, 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 really good. It is really good. I'm gonna wrap it up. I can't stop eating this stuff. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Catch and Cook. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below what you guys wanna see me eat next. Saltwater, freshwater, any species that I haven't eaten yet, I'll give it a try. Leave it in the comment section below. Also, check out my other videos. A lot of you guys comment fish that I've already done. I've done peacock bass, cichlids, bluegill, uh, Mayan cichlids. I've done a lot of fish, so check out the other videos. There will be a playlist that pops up right here and you can check them out. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I literally am almost finished. This is my last piece of bass. I'm gonna finish this and I will see you later.